Greetings. It is I, Susie Q. <laughs> what's lighting you up? What's illuminating um, juiciness in your life? And are you noticing the miracles that are showing up? And are you broadcasting your light? <laughs> So, oh, wow, it's been pretty interesting. I've had um, some really unique experiences with some of my quantum healing hypnosis level two work, and it's been really, really fun. So I'd like to share a couple of things um, that are pretty cool. And so the work that I do with quantum healing hypnosis technique, and I'm a level two person, and I've got, I don't know, I, I've had a bunch of uh, sessions uh, that I've done up here in Arizona. These have to be in person, the uh, QHHT stuff. So it's super fun. But I want to share a couple like quirky things because the other day I had a friend um, ask me, questions about some of the results that I've gotten and, and all these different things. So, you know, so I think for myself, I've got a bunch of examples from the QHHT. I won't, you know, give any names or anything, um, but I'll just happy to share some kind of abstract ways that uh, people have interpreted um, some other lives or some other experiences. And so um, my first one is super fun. <laughs> They're all kind of super fun. Um, we have what's called somnambulistic, somnambulistic, and that is um, a phrase that is coined through uh, Dolores Cannon with her work with QHHT. And the way that I look at it with the somnambulistic, it means from my, I'm just giving my own personal definition, it means that the person has taken on a different persona. Um, so sometimes when we're in a session and a person is just still speaking from their own voice, their natural voice, their natural tendencies, then we know that they're in a great state. But when we go into somnambulistic, they take on a complete, uh, complete different quality. And so I had this uh, fellow that came in. He was an actor and he um, had some stuff going on with his heart space. And at one point during the session when he was um, kind of just kind of resting, he was he was like, I'm not really in a hypnot I'm not really hypnotized or anything. And then all of a sudden I thought, well, if you got some heart stuff going on, then we might take a look at kind of the back side of the heart, you know, the shadow side of the heart. And as soon as I finished saying that, he went into a spontaneous past life death scene. <laughs> now, we don't encourage people to go through the death scene um, with uh, the QHHT, but this one was spontaneous, automatic, and he was retching, and it was just such a crazy, it was like my first time to ever have that experience. And so that was pretty interesting is that he actually leaned into another life, another, uh, another life, <laughs> past life, present life, you know, but it's not the present one, but it was from a past life. And so he was actually living that uh, experience of um, being um, harmed through the back. Like I think it, like it's something he was stabbed in the back and that might've gone into that heart space. So that's pretty interesting is when we go somnambulistic is that the person takes on that quality because he clearly wasn't having the experience in this lifetime. So that's one of them. This is somnambulistic. Um, I had another one, which is really neat, is that I had a, a woman that came in, and as soon as we went into, so usually with the QHHT, we have an induction. We kind of get them to, a, you know, um, a, kind of a restful, peaceful way, and then we see, um, go onto the cloud, then we go to, a, you know, a beautiful place, and then, then we go into uh, kind of working with the subconscious. And so this woman, um, it was ready for, she was ready to start kind of working with um, moving into where she was at, right? So we move them uh, in different ways, but it, the first one that she came up with was this lifetime in like the roaring 20s. And she um, she's maybe like in her 60s, but when she started, the first thing that she said when we were going into that state, going into the past life, is she was giggling and laughing. She was like a young, a young lady that was getting ready to meet her boyfriend. And she was giggling and she was explaining all the clothes that she wore and she had all the beautiful high heels and everything. And she was just giddy and happy and having so much fun. And then as I moved her forward a little bit more in that same life that we um, we actually moved her backwards a little bit actually is what we did and then we moved her backwards so we could get a little bit more information from her when she was little and she took on that persona too so that's called somnambulistic <laughs> super fun I had another one I have one more I was going to share and so with the QHHT um, I never like 
know what's going to happen for people and I don't think people know either what's going to happen for them as well. So I've had a, a, another somnambulistic piece and this was um, a good friend of mine that came in and sometimes when we go somnambulistic it might be going backwards or forwards or in the future you know and so there's been a couple of ones uh, well one for one for example as somebody that went to the year 2300 and in that quality um, it sounded similar to my friend how she normally speaks but she was speaking from a completely different point of view going into uh, the year 2300 and so that's part of that somnambulistic energy is that it's like we're moving into something and then it's like wow it's kind of like it's kind of like them but not really them anymore and so we started to move into that into that future uh, energy I can't remember all the details but it was super amazing so these are some of the things that I um, get to explore and play with um, and before I ever heard the word somnambulistic I would have never guessed that uh, what it would be and then what's neat is that we get to see somebody kind of go back into that space, go back into that time and speak at that level or to have that feeling tone. Now with that one death scene, that spontaneous, <laughs> that was so, that was so crazy, right? So crazy is that we can, um, when, normally on my QHHT sessions, um, we, we don't want a person to go through the death but we want to see them on the other side. That, well, actually, that's for me. I always want, like, if they're getting ready to move to a death scene, is we want to move them, you know, past that death scene and where they're in spirit. And so even with that spirit side, is we might take, um, we might ask some questions of the spirit, like, where are you now? What are you experiencing? And then if we're not getting much, because sometimes it's just pure energy, we might go a little bit more and go, like, what, um, so now let's go a little bit further on um, are they still just pure energy or are there some other things that we can see? So I love working with spirit and I love working and helping people kind of learn a little bit more about um, kind of what what life might look like in different ways, right? So it's super fun doing this work. I absolutely love it. And I'm also an Akashic reader. The Akashic records are um, also very similar to this. Uh, the distinction that makes it different than these, uh, these this other modality is with the QHHT, the person chooses the past life or the other experience, and then I lean into it. And uh, the distinction with Akashic Records is, is I pull the records for a person, and then we start working with the imagery, and we start looking for helpers now. So between the Akashic Records and the QHHT, everything that we are doing, or <laughs> whatever we're doing, whatever we are being, that sense of presence, right, is that it's all helping us now. So we can focus on stuff from the past or in the future or, or concurrent running timelines or even galactic or star family energy. But whatever we're getting, we really relate it to us presently now. So the answers that we get, we don't want it too abstract. We don't want to get it too, too out there. We just want to know what can we gleam from some of these insights that will help us today. Okay, and that's kind of fun. It's like super fun. I really absolutely love it. So this was just a real quick little video to share with you. Um, some keywords here are, you know, of course, the quantum healing hypnosis technique level two, which is I, which is I, CCQ, and also the Akashic Records, and then moving into what we call somnambulistic, somnambulistic. I remember when I first read about it, I was like, I can't, I can't even say it, you know, but that is when we take on a quality that's a little bit different. Now I have a um, future person that's going to be coming in and this person had a pretty tragic event I think in a car accident um, or had a seizure or something and then when the person um, was kind of half awake and half not he was actually speaking several different languages now he had no awareness of that but he was told that I think it was French and German that he was speaking in two different languages which he doesn't know how to speak that right. He doesn't know how to do that. So this is another person that I would love to have a session with, and I think it's coming up. So I'm super excited to see um, with it somnambulistic or 
I don't even know. I have so many like qu you know questions about that. But that might be another session that I'll be doing that may have the appearance of somnambulistic. And so I'm real excited. And I don't know how to, I can't understand those languages. But it'll be fascinating if we can get some insights from that. Like what was that about? And what what lifetimes were those from? Um, and is there any more guidance? But you know, I might even say if they start going into that other language, I might just say, can we just translate it to English? You know, and so a lot of times the subconscious is always agreeable, right? It's usually very agreeable. So that's it. So I'm, I'm Susie, and I'd love to do this kind of work. If you'd like to book a session or have a kind of a little complimentary call, you can always call me at 832-790-7888, 832-790-7888. It's super fun. I absolutely love it. And I have tons of testimonials. Um, I should probably be putting them out, and maybe I'll start doing that. But I've got beautiful testimonials of so many benefits from just taking a look you know, at your own self and just know, know, noticing that there's so much more, so much more for each one of us. So sending you so much love and namaste. <laughs>